definitely a blessing to be able to come out here with these guys. Um, these guys showed me mad love when I got here. So um, just be able to go out and play ball and have fun doing it and get a dub, especially for my first time, it feels sweet. Baby, how, how are you feeling? Yeah, okay. I'm just saying, it's you so got to be fired up. Yeah. Yeah. But you had 32 carries today. That's most of your career. Yeah. I mean, how does that, how's your body feeling, first of all? And what did you guys see in the run game? Was there something you guys saw all week, or is that something just evolved as the game went on? Yeah, yeah. Um, ultimately, we just kind of came out with a uh, game plan, and we, we stuck to it. Uh, we wanted to run the ball. That's a good defense out there. Um, but, you know, we relied on each other. Um, being able to run the ball, that's, that's definitely our identity. That's what we're going to do. So just being able to come out here and do that and execute is definitely uh, super good. Your body feeling good, though? That was a lot of uh, big, big wear and tear today. Workhorse. Yeah, yeah, I get a massage. <laughs> Jared, it, it almost it feels like yesterday when that interception happened, but I always hated starting the game with a pick and coming back, but really strong performance by you. That to me shows just your resilience from your whole career. Talk about that a little bit. Talk about how you're not phased by those moments anymore. Yeah, bad play by me, bad eyes. Guy made a great play. Uh, but yeah, you got to bounce back. It's early, man. You got to bounce back. You have to and find a way to. And I uh, thought I played better throughout the rest of the game. Uh, hope it's up to your standards. You played a lot. <laughs> okay. you, you played very well, dog. Okay. You're very happy. Well, I, I, I didn't know it was a poor man's anything, but... but oh, know, he hears okay. that. He's listening. I heard about it. Oh, That's right. Oh, 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 call him out there, Dick. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Matt Ryan's a pretty good player, too. Matt Ryan's a hell of a player. I told him. I'm giving you a hard time. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Hey, you played a really, <laughs> really... <laughs> That <laughs> wasn't me. Uh, you y'all played a real physical game. Like it, I don't know what did Dan Campbell say to y'all. I'm asking both of y'all because offensively, defensively, it came out here. It looked like y'all came out here to make a statement. Like it was like, hey, we want y'all to know we're here, we're for real, and we're putting a beat on y'all. Yeah, I think that's just who we are. I, I think that's who we want to be every week, and it starts with this guy. This guy ran his tail off today. And, uh, when we can hand it to him and he can get a dirty six yards like he was, man, it's it's tough to stop us. But I thought our defense showed the hell out today, and uh, it was a physical game all around. I know he can speak to that more than I can. David, what, what does it mean to you, this offensive line group, man? I mean, I can tell you embrace their style, and you love running behind them, man. What, what about these big fellas up front? Yeah, <laughs> like I say all the time, this probably... This is definitely the best, you know, group of guys I've ever been a part of. And I'm just blessed to be a part of it, you know, uh, just kind of go out. Them guys up front, man, they put in the work uh, day in, day out throughout the week. And, um, you know, I feel like it's my job to go out there and give everything I got for them boys. I know they do the same thing for me. So um, every chance I get to touch the ball, uh, I want to be sure that I do it for those guys first. 11 wins in your last 14 games. I mean, the list goes on. You're now 3-1 and one for the first time since 2017. A couple weeks ago, Jared, when you and I sat down and we were talking, you were saying there's still a long way to go. Yeah. But you're sitting in a great place, sitting at 3-1 three, three and one atop the division. What's your mindset now as you turn the page? Yeah, we feel good. We're, we're leading the division right now. It's four games in. There's still a hell of a lot of football to be played, and uh, we know that. we got to keep going like this if we want to remain on top. we got a good division, a lot of good teams, so we got to keep winning and uh, keep giving these guys to be something to be excited about like this. And your defense, man. Aiden Hutchinson had a great comment. He said, you know, he's watched, being from Michigan, he's watched Aaron Rodgers beat up on this Lions team and, and dominate for, for so long. What does your defense say about who you guys are as a team? Yeah, they're doing a hell of a job. But certainly these last two weeks, you can see it. Them getting after the quarterback, causing turnovers, getting us the ball back in favorable positions. It's uh, It's been impressive to watch, and they're starting to come into their own. It's exciting. Well, I, don't, I don't know if we have the tape, but I hope we do. There was a block you made that yeah. sprung. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm the first you remember the one out of Fitzy's book there, you know? Yeah. Well, Will was talking you up. Okay, let's give you the good stuff. You're not yes. allowed to crack back anymore, right? <laughs> so you made sure that you didn't get a penalty. Yeah, I didn't want to hit him too yeah, much. Yeah, there it is. You know, I was being gentle. Hey, all-purpose quarterback, that's what he is. Hey, the more you can do. The, the more you can do. Hey, you're a winner. You're a winner, Jared. We talked about, Witt talked about, in the years that you were with the Rams, the last four years, you won 43 games, you come here, you're playing winning football. What does this say about your career? You came in with high expectations, obviously being the number one pick. I feel like over the last uh, freaking four or five years of your career, you've lived up to those expectations. Do you feel like you're still elevating? Because that's what it looks like. Yeah, I hope so, man. I, I try to get better every day, every week. And uh, I feel like, yeah, certainly last year and then into this year, I'm playing the best football of my career and hopefully can continue to do this and, and, and call it the start of my prime. You know, that's like what that. you hope to call it and, um, you know, be doing this for a long time. Well, tell me about uh, ben, ben Johnson. I mean, the offensive coordinator, I've, I've loved what he's done. I got to believe that, that he's really helped you out because be, be coming over 
the way it all happened, and then you have improved your game. I don't know if you watched our pregame, so you saw them talking trash about you. I just heard about it. I didn't know what said. Yeah, he's busy watching our pregame while he's getting ready. I just heard about it. I said that you have gotten better since you've been here. And so I want you to talk about Ben Johnson. What he's, has he meant to you as that offensive coordinator? And do you think he's going to be around here next year? I mean, because yeah. head coach might, yeah, it's might come be, calling. It's going to be tough to keep him around, but uh, he means a hell of a lot to me in my career. And, um, you know, starting last year, coming off of a bad season we all had and being able to come into last year, he's a first-year coordinator, and I'm kind of trying to find my footing with the team and kind of doing it together. You know, we, we kind of found our way together, and um, he, he does a hell of a job putting us in good spots and um, did a great job tonight again. David, for you, first career, three touchdown game, everything was working. You have a lot of success here in Lambeau. In fact, three out of your last four games, you've rushed for over 100 yards. What is it about this place, and what is it about this team that's working right now? Uh, ultimately, you know, all the glory go to God, first and foremost. Um, just being able to come out here with a new group of guys, and uh, those guys trust me. You know, I haven't been playing the best ball for the last uh, two games that I played, and I made a promise to myself that I needed to get better. Um, there's definitely things I still need to clean up, and... Those guys definitely lean on me, and I appreciate those guys for trusting me, uh, even when I wasn't playing well. So uh, I'm just blessed, really. I love that. Well, you know what haters will still do? They'll still question That's you okay. guys. That's okay. Jared, why are you guys for real? I, you know, I don't know if, you know, we, we, we know who we are. We need to keep winning to, to keep proving that. You know, I, I know that's a cliche answer, but we know who we are internally. We keep showing it every Sunday, every Thursday night like this. But we got to keep doing it. We got to keep doing it every day, keep getting better. Um, and the sky's the limit for this team. And you did that tonight. Three and one again for the first time since 2017. And I'll tell you right now, these fans and those watching are very excited about that. Congratulations on your guys' win. Good luck the rest of the way. And would you mind signing our helmet? We have all guests. Come and sign it. It's a, it's a new tradition here at TNF. So on your way out, we'll have a grab, grab an autograph from you guys. Congratulations on your Wednesday travels home. Thank you. Good stuff, guys.